Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here to announce a new project that I'm going to do that I have already set up, but I'm going to show it to you. Um, I, I'm skipping uh, Mismatch Monday for today. We'll be back to Mismatch Monday next Monday. Wanted to give you a break from that. And I had this idea to set up this new project that I'm doing. So as you can see, what I've got highlighted here is it says 1982 Alternate League. I had to rename the league because I copied the 1982 American League. But what I did was I copied the American League and then I added, I believe, four more teams. Maybe more than that. I, th I think it was four more. But anyway, what I ended up with is a league that now has 18 teams in it. And I divided those into three divisions. Now, the original American League was only the East and the West. So I added the Central Division. And now I have three, team, three divisions of six teams each. And the, um, the breakdown is uh, that the East has Baltimore, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Tampa Bay, and Toronto. The Central has Chicago, Minnesota, Cleveland, Detroit, Kansas City, and Milwaukee. And the West has California, Arizona, Oakland, San Francisco, Seattle, and Texas. So I broke those teams into those divisions, and then I also, since I added teams, we didn't have enough players. So what I did was I released all of the players from from each of the original um, 12, I think it was 12 teams, into the uh, draft pool or the free agent pool. And then I also pulled from 19, the 1965 American League, I pulled every player from every team on the 1965 American League, and I also pulled several players from 2022. Now, I know you're sitting there saying, that's kind of, uh, I mean, why those seasons? Well, those seasons because those are among the seasons that I have easy access to over here. I own other seasons that I have, uh, you know, I have a code to reactivate them, but I didn't want to go through and reactivate all the uh, seasons that I have. But 1965, I had recently done a mismatch Monday of 1965, so that was readily available. And of course, 2022, I bought last year's uh, rosters so and games, so... 2022 was also readily available. The other thing that this does is you've got, um, and this is important if you're setting up a league like this, I've got 1965, 1982, 2022. It's very, very unlikely that you're going to get overlap of any per particular player from one season to the next. And the reason that that can be a pain is that if you do that, if you make a league where you've got two seasons that were close enough together that a player could have played in both seasons, then you're going to get two versions of his card. And if you end up with that, you've got to go through all the teams and make sure he isn't duplicated and put on two different teams, that one of his cards isn't on, you know, two different teams. So uh, that's, that's the reason why I did it that way. Now that gave me enough players to make a 16 team league. Now what I also did was the first 14 teams, I did the draft regular uh, before I added the last two. I did the four, I did the uh, straightforward draft um, serpentine with the four, with the 14 teams when I just added two more teams at that, at that particular time. Then I went back and I added the other two teams, Tampa Bay and Arizona, to give me two teams in the league that would be horrible, just because I wanted to do that. So uh, Tampa Bay and Arizona had to pick from what was left, and so I'm guessing that they're going to be very, very bad. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to play this season, 
And I've got it all set up. I've gone through. I have sanitized everything, made everything, you know, the way it would be. Now, I just did a cursory CM file from the Chicago White Sox because that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be the Chicago White Sox. And we'll take a look at the White Sox roster in just a second. But um, I went through and I made sure that I uh, did the um, pitcher today matchups for every one of the other teams. Uh, check the lineups just to, you know, as a sanity check for the lineups to see, you know, that they didn't do anything stupid, um, like, you know, platooning George Brett or something like that. And then I, uh, and then, you know, the league is set up and I, I went through, I made sure that I, you know, gave every team the, uh, a stadium if they didn't have one. For instance, Chicago did not have one, so I went through and I got them the new, you know, their updated 2022 Chicago um, <clears throat> ballpark, um, U.S. Cellular Field or whatever it's called now. No, Guaranteed Rate. It's Guaranteed Rate Field now. Um, yeah, there it is. So I got them the, you know, the their ballpark. And by the way, I want to mention that you know, you when you buy a new set, not not the newest one, not like the up to date. This is you know the the very newest one from last year. But when you buy past years, I've noticed when I buy past years, sometimes I'll get the old ballparks like Tiger Stadium will come with the Tigers, and um, the uh, in fact. Let's see. I think we do have that. Yeah, we got Tiger, old Tiger Stadium for the Tigers for this season. And, um, you know, the Mariners will get the, uh, the dome that they played in. And the Humphrey Dome will come with Minnesota in a lot of those old seasons. But you, almost never, almost never do you get Comiskey Park with the White Sox. I don't know what the deal is with that. But anyway, let's go look at my team now and see what, who, who we got to go into bed. Oh yeah. That's just, nah, we're not going to do that. So, um, uh, let's see. Oh yeah. I got to move myself over here. So, so here is who we've got. We got, uh, in the bullpen, we're going to have Ted Abernathy, Pete Alonzo. We got Pete Alonzo from the Mets for first base. We're going to need him. Tim Anderson, now, um, I'm going to give you full disclosure here. I did do a couple of trades just to tweak things a little bit. And so Tim Anderson was on another team, and I made a trade with the other team. I did a forced trade with the other team to get Tim Anderson. Um, but I think I gave them somebody that was, that was pretty good. It was just it, he wasn't. Oh, yeah, I gave him Caven Biggio. I traded um, Caven Biggio to get Tim Anderson. Um, Chris Archer is going to be, he's probably not going to be in the starting rotation all year long. He'll just be a, uh, like a, um, an emergency starter if I need one. Mike Armstrong will be in the bullpen. Scott Barlow will be in the bullpen. John Bertie will be a backup infielder for me. Jim Bouton, got Jim Bouton in the starting staff. Bill Caudill will be in the bullpen, probably be the closer. Jim Clancy will be in the starting rotation. Dave Collins will be a backup, uh, you know, at first base in the outfield. Rich Dower will be a backup infielder. I don't anticipate playing him a lot. Doug DeSensei will be the starting third baseman. He's a third base one, and he hit 35 home runs that particular year. I also want to point out, you probably, if you're looking at the stats along the bottom, this is the stats uh, times 15%. So it's like instead of um, 100% of the actual stats for all the players, it's 115%. So... Just to give players, mainly to give um, the part-time guys a few more at-bats and the part-time pitchers a few more innings, and to give guys that were like borderline starters that could maybe get you all the way through the season to just push them over the top. Um, I always like to do that with my leagues because I find that the leagues, it's really, I have no idea how some you know, when you look at the statistics for some teams and some leagues, I have no idea how they got all the way through the season 
with the uh, numbers that they had. Plus, this is Stratomatic, so we don't have like little part-time players that did 10 at-bats, 20 at-bats. We don't have that in this. So you um, you want to, you know, add a little a little extra oomph, you know. Now, usually when I just play a stock season, if I took like the stock 1982 season, I would have done 130%, not 115 But with a draft where you were drafting mostly guys, you know, the computer is going to draft mostly guys that played a good percentage of the season anyway. You're going to get a lot of guys that are eligible to play a lot of the season anyhow. So I, I set it at 115 instead of 130. So continuing on, we got Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk came with the team. After the draft, I just happened to have Carlton Fisk. Ken Griffey Jr. And, you know, believe it or not, he's not going to crack the uh, starting outfield. Lords Goriel, Jimmy Herget will be in the bullpen. Vance Law will be a backup infielder. Bob Locker, got Bob Locker in the bullpen, 316 earned run average, 105 innings pitched, and um, and three and a three-inning reliever. Love those three-inning relievers. J.C. Martin will be the backup catcher for us. Charlie Moore will also be, a, he could serve as a backup catcher, but he also can play right field and second base. Dave Moorhead um, will be in the rotation. Jerry Mumphrey will be an outfielder on the team. Ben Ogilvy, we got Ben Ogilvy with his 33 jacks. And, and remember, this is he probably, this is his 1982 uh, card, but he probably didn't have 33 home runs. He might, he might have had close to that, but this is like times 115. Then you got Tony Oliva will be in the outfield for me. Gary Peters is going to be in the starting rotation. Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray will be in my starting rotation. Dave Rosema. Now, Dave Rosema, he is one guy that even with the 115, he's only at 32 innings pitched. So I'm going to have to watch the usage on him. Pete Ward is on the team. He'll be a backup second baseman, third baseman, and really pinch hitter. Frank White will be the starting second baseman. He's a second base one E20. And George Wright will be our center fielder. And maybe not. I might go to Mumphrey if Wright starts to play poorly. But he is better. I think he's better defensively. He is. George Wright is better defensively in center field. He's a center field two with a negative two arm, while Mumphrey is a center field three with a plus one. So we're going to go with right. We'll start off that way and see how it goes. Um, but if we have to go to Mumphrey, we will. So so that's the team. Um, you know, we can look at some of the other teams, like teams in my division that I'm going to have to contend with. <coughs> um, like Cleveland. Cleveland will be in our division. They've got George L. Farrow, who is from 2022. Dave Beard will probably be in their bullpen. Andrew Benintendi. Cleet Boyer will be at third base for them. Good defensive third baseman. Cecil Koopa will be at first base. And look at that. With the 115%, he got 752 at-bats and 37 home runs. Don Demeter will be on the team. Whitey Ford is going to be in their rotation. That's going to be tough. Ron Guidry. They got Ron Guidry and Whitey Ford in their rotation. Thank you, Mr. Computer. Ron Hansen will be on the team. Von Hayes. Ryan Helsley from 2022 St. Louis will be um, in their bullpen. Gunnar Henderson's on the team, Nico Horner, Willie Horton, Jim Cott is in that rotation. So that rotation so far that we've seen, it's going to be Whitey Ford, Ron Guidry, and Jim Cott. And then Roger uh, Lafrancois, I don't know, 
Bill Mon Bouquet. Now, Bill Mon Bouquet pitched recently in my um, uh, mismatch Monday game, and he uh, and he pitched well against the '65 Twins. Amos Otis, Joe Pepitone, J.T. Real Muto, Hunter Renfro from 2022, Bobby Richardson, Brendan Rogers, Aurelio Rodriguez. Max Scherzer, that is one hell of a rotation right there. Raleigh Sheldon, Larry Sherry, Jose Siri, Bob Stanley for their bullpen, and he's a four-inning reliever. That was back in the day, man. That was when pitchers were pitchers. And then Mike Stanton. So, uh, yeah, Cleveland's going to be a tough customer to try to get past. Um, I'll just take a look at one more. Minnesota, they got Willie Willie Aikens, uh, Harrison Bader, Daniel Bard, David Bednar, Tony Bernazard, second baseman, Bo Bichette, Dean Chance, Al Cowens, Richard Dotson. I loved Richard Dotson, man. John Gray in their rotation from 2022 Texas. Joe Horlin, Tanner Houck, Kent Herbeck, Larry. Now, see, here we go. We got two Larry Jacksons, so we're going to have to eliminate one of them. And it's probably going to have to be the Larry Jackson that batted. So we're going to get rid of him. Because this, and also, this is going to be pitcher bat, but it's going to be pitcher bat using the uh, pitcher bat cards, not the uh, not their individual hitting cards. So we'll get rid of the extra Larry Jackson. Bobby Noop, um, or Bobby Knopp, I guess his name was pronounced. Uh, Dennis Lamp. Mickey Mantle. Are you kidding me? Mickey Mantle ends up on Minnesota. Thank you. (laughs) Uh, Dick McAuliffe, Don Money, Jerry Moses. I mean, you know, and I'm sitting here saying this, but, you know, it was really any team except for Arizona and Tampa Bay, the two teams I did after the draft, going to be bad? No. Kybert Ruiz, Billy Sample, Ted Simmons, Bill Scourin, Tom Tresh, Tom Underwood, Don Wirt, Ed Whitson, Dave Winfield is on this team. I'm going to have my work cut out for me in this league. So anyway, yeah, there's uh, there's a few of the teams, including my Chicago White Sox. Um, I will, you know, from time to time, I'll be posting the games so that you guys can see one of the games. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and I'll also do updates on the season as we go as part of either a channel update or just a, you know, here's where my leagues are because I'm also doing a 1930 league with action PC baseball. So um, that is how it's going to go. And um, I look forward to this. See, I'm pretty excited about this. It looks like it's going to be a real interesting season to do. And I've got the dice setting so that the game will play quickly. So it shouldn't be as hard to get through a season as if you were to do the regular settings where you see the ball and you see him run and you, and there's like the, you know, I've got the, uh, I've got the play by play on minimal play by play. So it doesn't show you everything. So it, the game should be go quicker and it should allow me to get through the season quickly enough. And then I'm even going to, um, I'm even going to try to keep this season going year after year where it's I'm going to play it kind of like out of the park baseball except that I'm going to force certain things and there's not going to be any salaries but I'm going to like um you know I'm going to teams will cut players guys will retire teams will make trades amongst each other now that part I can do easily I don't have to figure out how to do trades cuz I just all you do is you just run the start of a mock season with trades on, and then the computer will do the trades. Um, But I will, um, you know, I'll do trades, and then I'll, and then I'll import new players into the draft pool from other seasons. I'll activate other seasons 
Or really, I mean, I didn't take many players from like the 1982 National League, and I didn't take many players from the 1965 National League. So I'll import players from other um, other seasons and other rosters, and then we'll have another draft in the order of you know reverse order of how the teams finished, and then we'll do another season. And we'll do them as quickly as, you know, whatever, I finish the season. I'm not going to necessarily take this entire season to do this one season. This season might be done by July, and then I'll do the next season with, you know, the trades and the retirements and the cuts and all of that stuff. going to factor it all in and try to keep this like a career season, like you would see in out-of-the-park baseball, only... It's in Stratomatic, and like I said, there's no salaries, which will make it easy on me. So what do you guys think about all this? You think it's going to be an interesting season? How do you think Chicago is going to do? I don't know, because really, they got some, those other teams in my division got some really good players. Plus, the Central did not, there was only two teams that were absolute crap that drafted after the regular draft, and that was Tampa Bay and Arizona, and they're in the West and the East. There, there's nobody in the central like that. Everybody in the central was part of the regular draft. So, and by the way, the draft, I did put all of the teams on automatic draft. I didn't draft for Chicago. So, because you got to believe I would have taken Mantle or Whitey Ford. But uh, anyway, I mean, but we did get Ogilvy, I got to say. So let me know what you think, but that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.